and it's fully functional so you can turn up and down the brightness using this toggle right here <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot today's video. I've got an Android video for you guys Sorry for the wait. I am back and tomorrow. I've got another video But since my last video was iOS this video is Android But anyways in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mimic iOS on Android This is the easiest and quickest way to make your friends think that your Android device is running iOS All right, so some people might be wondering why do this? Why would you want to mimic iOS on your Android device? First off, just for fun. I mean, it's really cool to see what a different software would look like on a Android device or any other device. It's fun to play around with. And if you do like Control Center, Notification Center on iOS and all those features, then this does add to functionality because again, you will be using those features and it's pretty cool. And lastly, you can fool your friends into thinking that you're running iOS on your Android device, which is basically impossible to do because of iOS security, but here we're going to be kind of doing it. All right, so let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is open up the Play Store. And once open in the search, you first want to go ahead and type in Eye Control for iOS. I'm going to swipe over, and this is what you want to search for, Eye Control for iOS. Simply go ahead and install the app, and there we go, accept it. And boom, there it is. So let's go ahead and tap on it, and here's what it looks like. Completely free, so enable this, and there you go. Now X out of here, and now we have that beautiful control center. Take a look at that, guys. And it's fully functional, so you can turn up and down the brightness using this toggle right here. And you can just go and tap on this button to bring up the flashlight. You guys see my flashlight is now working. Turn it off. It's off. So that is pretty cool. All these icons do work. We've got a music player, and it's pretty darn cool. So now that we have control center, let's go back. And you want to go and search for iNoty. That's I-N-O-T-Y. And we're going to go ahead and install this real quick on our device to get the notification center. That's on iOS. So once that's done, of course, tap on open once again. Okay, my brightness is pretty high. I'm going to go and turn that down a notch. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so anyways, let's go back over here to turn on or off Noti. And here, I can go ahead and enable it. So, just make sure you enable it. And there you go. So now, if we go ahead and swipe from the top, look at that, guys. We have the iOS notification center. So, we also got some additional toggles at the bottom. Just for convenience, I can also go ahead and swipe over, I think. And there we go. Just like an iOS, this is so well mimicked. It's unbelievable. We also got the search on the top. And it's just very, very cool. We got all our widgets, notifications, and the date, of course. So let's go back. Now, take a look at our keyboard. iOS is, one second, is pretty different, as you can see right here. So this is the Android one. That's iOS, of course. So what you want to do now is search for Apple space keyboard, just like that. So you want to go and type, type. Tap on the first one that comes up. <laughs> Once done, go ahead and get yourself some Taco Bell. Just kidding. All right, hit open. You can go ahead and set up your keyboard. And to do that, just follow these simple steps. So first, enable in settings. So tap on that button. And it's going to enable Apple Keyboard. And OK. Now let's go back to the app. So Apple Keyboard. And now we have to switch the input method. So just tap on this button. Go and select the English Apple Keyboard. There we go. And now... I think I switched. Come on. All right. So I X out because I hit the back button. Okay. I guess we're done. So we got all the settings that you guys can configure right here. So you can make the keyboard vibrate every time you press a key too. So that's pretty cool. Now, if I go back inside YouTube, bring up my keyboard. You guys can see now we do have that Apple keyboard along with the emojis too. So tap on the emoji icon. And this part looks a bit different, but still you get the emojis, which is pretty cool. Just go and tap on that button. Check that out. It actually mimics iOS so well. And overall, I think it looks pretty good. Next, we need the iOS camera app. So to do that, go and search for a geek camera, G-E-A-K camera. And again, it's spelled just like that. So it's going to be very comparable to this layout. And it's done. It's going to open it up. And there you go. You guys see that we now do have that layout, but we only have three options on this device right here. Of course, we have more options. Now to get the iOS lock screen, you want to search for iLock, one word, install. And this mimics it so well. You guys will see that in a second. So it's going to hit open and make sure it's enabled. So this toggle right here, enable it. X out of here. Now it's going to lock our device. And look at that slide to unlock. Pretty cool. So swipe over. And last, we're going to be searching for XOS Launcher. Now, shout out to this guy right over here. He's the one who let me know about this launcher. I was testing out a few other ones. But this one is the actual best. So let's go and tap on install. And accept over here. Again, it's called XOS Space Launcher. 
Go ahead and install this on our device. And this is the last thing that we need to install. So hit open. Got a beautiful interface. At the bottom, tap on experience. And look at this. Now we have the launcher on our phone. Okay, so it froze on me for a second there. But now it is up and working. You guys can see that we have all the icons where they are. So we got the messages. That's Chrome. We got the Safari icon for that. Let's go ahead and swipe over. Look at this. It works just like iOS, which is pretty cool. Swipe over all the way to the left. We even got Spotlight Search, which is pretty awesome. So you can search for any app using that and it does work. You can just go ahead and tap on it and start typing. Pretty cool. Control Center. You can swipe up. And there it is. Go ahead and swipe down to main notification center. There it is right there. We got all the different tabs. And even the keyboard. So that is pretty cool. So let's go to Chrome. Boom. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, if it keeps bringing it back to like TouchWiz. Don't press the home button, press the back button. And let's go back over here, go back into this. And there we go. So let's go and tap on settings. And it looks the same inside settings, but again, the icons are different. So if you want to continue using this for some reason, let's get used to pressing the back button instead of the home button. But yeah, guys, this is pretty awesome. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think. All right, so guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video and it's pretty cool. And it's for your friends that you're thinking that you're running iOS on Android. There's really not much more to it, but stay tuned for tons more videos. That's just a start. And I'll catch you guys in real soon in my next video. Peace out. I need you now. I need you now.